hug a bug. How you can help protect insects. I am the Lorax, and I've come here to say that some bugs need our help, and they need it today. The world swarms with bugs. It might boggle some minds when I say there are well over one million kinds. When I say the word bugs, some people cry. Pests. They slap them, or zap them, or poison their nests. But bugs are important. In fact, I insist. Without bugs, our world simply could not exist. Some bugs pollinate, helping make fruits and seeds. While others eat pests, and still others eat weeds. Some bugs are the food that helps animals thrive. It's a balanced bug diet that keeps them alive. Some bugs need your hugs because they're dying out. These bugs are the ones I am talking about. Did you know the four stages of a butterfly's life are egg, larva, or caterpillar, chrysalis, and adult? Monarch's eggs are glued to the leaves of milkweed. Larvae hatch, and those leaves provide food that they need. As a larva grows bigger, it sheds skin like this. It then clings to a leaf to form a chrysalis. About fifteen days later, come back and you'll see the adult merges in its majesty. When temperatures drop, monarches gather and swarm, flying two thousand miles south to a forest that's warm. Forest habitats have sadly shrunken away. And some people kill milkweed with a poisonous spray. What with milkweed spraying and habitat chopping, the numbers of monarches are steadily dropping. Why is butterfly loss such a huge big deal? The effect on us humans is realer than real. I'm telling you this for your information. Bugs like the monarch perform cross-pollination. Bugs transfer pollen from flower to flower, giving the flower its reproductive power. Did you know the stamen and pistil are a flower's reproductive organs? Bugs help the flowers spread and flourish. Flowers make fruits. And veggies that nourish. Skippers get their name because they skip to and fro, sipping flower nectar. They pollinate as they go. On rich prairie grass, skipper larvae grow fast. But prairie is now scarce, and I'm sorry for that. Cities and farms now stand. Where prairie grass waved, Dakota skippers may die out if they are not saved. Let me now speak for the dear bumblebees. They live in a nest in small bee colonies. The nest is so crowded that when it gets hot, it needs air conditioning. Believe it or not, next to the door. These bumblebees there flap their wings very fast, and it cools off the air. Did you know bumblebees are important pollinators of tomatoes and berries and potatoes?
The queen lays her eggs in the colony nest. The larvae get pollen. It's what they digest. Bumblebees are all fuzzy. That fur coat surely pays. They can still make their rounds on the coldest of days. When weed sprays kill flowers in the bumblebee's space, there's no food for the larva. No pollination takes place. Did you know when you eat honey, you are eating concentrated flower nectar? Some bees hang in crowds, but as I have found, digger bees are loners in nest underground. In bare sandy spots, in your park or backyard, you may spot digger nests if you look very hard. Did you know most bees are solitary and do not live in colonies? Weed killer on lawns, not the wise thing to do. It kills pollinating digger bees too. These ladybugs here all have nine pretty spots. You can't see them all, but they're there, nine black dots. They are very good friends to the gardeners I meet because they like aphids as a tasty treat. The praises of aphids are seldom sung since they eat garden plants when they're tender and young. The antenna on an American burying beetle's head can smell a small critter the moment it's dead. This beetle lays eggs beneath the buried beast when the larvae hatch out, it is their time to feast. That is so gross, even for me, I confess, but a Jim Dandy way to clean up nature's mess. Tiger beetles can rip. They are such speedy guys. They pounce on caterpillars, nab, midges, gnats, flies. When, when these beetles eat pests, then we don't need to spray. They are small, but they suffer us big help this way. They bury their eggs in the sandy seaside. Now beach houses crowd them. This can't be denied. These hovering flies sip nectar from flowers, which they pollinate during their busy hours. Some flower flies eat aphids and pests that eat crops. Their usefulness to farmers, you see, never stops. But when flies are endangered by human habitation, say hello to those pests and goodbye pollination. Heinz Emerald Dragonfly, if I understand right, spends much of its adult life feeding in flight. Did you know dragonflies eat flying insects, like biting flies, gnats, and mosquitoes? In wetlands, it lays eggs, and when nymphs hatch out, they feed on wee worms and bugs all about. But we're losing wetlands alarmingly fast, and without them, these beauties, I fear, will not last. I speak for the bugs, for the bugs have no voice, but I'm telling you now that you do have a choice. You can speak for them, too, and speak from your heart, Learning what you can do is the best way to start. Unless someone like you cares a whole lot, these, off, these bugs won't survive. No, they simply will not. How you can help. First, you can plant a garden to please our pollinator helpers, butterflies and bees. Remind your folks there is simply no way they should use bug poisons or nasty weed spray. Don't have room to garden? Then keep in mind that there are groups to support who protect habitat. To help these groups, you can, without fail, raise funds from a lemonade stand or bake sale. Bugs suffer from global warming for sure. Burn less fossil fuel and you'll help with their care. Don't ride in the car if you can walk there or jog. Try not to be an electricity hog. With an adult's help, 
make a house for solitary nesters like these, the mason, leaf cutter, or yellow face bees. You will need paper, scissors, can, pencil, tape, glue, toilet paper rolls, wire, or string. Number one, cut paper about one inch shorter than the length of your can. Number two, roll paper around pencil until it forms a tight, sturdy tube. Remove from pencil and tape to keep from unrolling. You'll need enough tubes to fill the can. Number three, spread some glue in the bottom of the can. Number four, place toilet paper rolls in the can. Number five, now fill the can with tubes. Number six, using wire or string, hang the bee house about three feet off the ground on a solid object, like a wall or a fence in a sunny spot that is protected from wind and rain. Glossary Antenna Feelers on the heads of insects that may sense smell, sound, taste, or vibration. Aphid a bug that feeds by sucking sap or juice from plants. Chrysalis, a hiding case protecting a butterfly or moth in the larval stage. Digest, to break down food for nutrition. Habitat, the natural home for a plant, animal, or insect. Larva, the wingless stage of life of many insects. Nectar, the sugary liquid made by flowers and plants designed to attract pollinating insects and animals. Nymph, an insect whose wings have not yet developed. Pistil, the, the part in the center of flower that produces the seed. Pollen, the fine powder produced by plants that's needed to make seeds. Pollination, brought about by wind, rain, animals, and insects. The process of sharing pollen by the same types of plants that causes them to reproduce. Stamen, the part of the flower that produces pollen. Wetlands, natural areas like swamps, bogs, or marshes that hold lots of water and host a variety of plant, animal, and insect life.